back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and everyone here at our studio is literally bursting with excitement because our guest today is one of the most talked about young singers on the music scene. She's taking YouTube and Radio Disney by storm. Please help me welcome the real one and only Savannah. <laughs> Savannah, thank you. You are such a busy lady. Thank you so much for coming by. No I mean, from the looks of YouTube, Twitter, MySpace, everything on the internet, you are a busy lady. I, I'm pretty busy, but I'm having the best time ever. Oh my gosh. So let's jump right into it. You have been writing songs and performing for most of your life. This is true, right? This is but true. But it was one song in particular, Goodbyes, yes. that really got you a lot of attention. And I heard that you wrote it during your middle school graduation. graduation. Tell me the story behind the song. Uh, well, I wrote it middle school graduation, so that was about three years ago. Okay, okay. Uh, my middle school ends at eighth grade. Right. So, um, yeah, my best friend at the time was moving to a different high school, and it was just going to be tough staying best friends, and it was hard to say goodbye, so I decided to write, write a, song, a about song about it. And that was actually one of the first songs I've ever written, so it's really cool to see how it's kind of um, succeeded. Taken off. Taken off. Well, I mean, flash forward a few years later, and the song ends up breaking records on Radio Disney because yeah. at the time you were unsigned. Is this correct? This is correct. So what was the <laughs> record? Actually, what was the record you broke? What was it? Uh, it peaked at number five on the Top 30 Countdown. High five! <laughs> Thank up you. Up top, girl. Thank you. So exciting. Most middle schoolers <laughs> are just you know having braces and not knowing what to do. Yeah. With least, right. <laughs> now you're also really well known because of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how the whole entire YouTube craze got started. Uh, my mom and dad actually kind of discovered YouTube, right. and at the time it wasn't really that big. Now it's like the huge deal, everyone does YouTube, right. but you know, I was kind of getting desperate, nothing was really happening mm -hmm. for me, and so I just decided to record a video of me singing Listen by Beyonce and uh, post it on YouTube, and now it's crazy, I have like I don't even know how, how many, many followers I have. do you have? Over a hundred thousand, right? Yes. Um, my mom knows the exact numbers, but it's somewhere over a hundred thousand subscribers. So you mentioned the first song you put up was by Beyonce, and you are known for doing a lot of covers, yeah. as well as songs that you've written. So let's talk about the covers first. How do you pick the songs? How do you know which one? Like, I definitely want to do "The Climb" by Miley Cyrus. It depends. Sometimes I'm really into a song during the week. Um, a lot of times I get in requests from fans and I try and um, do as many requests because obviously that's what the fans want to right. see. Uh, but, you know, for The Climb, I was like, oh, I love this song and the Hannah Montana movie just came out, so it kind of fits and it's perfect. So, so Have yeah. any of those artists ever come back? Have you ever heard from any of them or anything like that? I have. Really? Okay, okay. So I met Taylor Swift. Oh, I love her. Me too. Oh my gosh, and I can't stop smiling, but um, I met Taylor Swift, okay. and she knew, she knew my cover of her song. She was like, you look familiar, and I was like, I do. <laughs> really, are you sure? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, she's like, you did a cover of one of my songs on YouTube, and my friend Kendra was with me, and I just looked back at her, I was like, oh my gosh, pinch me please, this is I've not made happening. It. Oh my it, it gosh. It was the coolest thing ever, and she is so down to earth and so great to her fans, and it made me even love her even more, but uh, wow. she was awesome. That's amazing. And similar to her, you're actually right. You co-wrote most of your own songs, and you I play do. the guitar. I play the wow. guitar, yeah. What's your writing process? Like, what inspires you for a song? Breakups, oh, relationships, yes. boys, um, you know, friends, what my best friends are going through. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it just depends. Um, I guess what I'm going through at the moment, but... Uh, Sometimes I like, stuff. yeah. Sometimes I watch a movie and be like, ooh, you know, that'd be a cool, cool subject or something. Yeah, like interesting. So, who would you say would be your ultimate dream duet? If you could pick anyone, alive or dead for that matter, in the music industry, who would you pick right now? Probably Jason Mraz. Oh, oh love him. <laughs> or Justin Timberlake, or Taylor Swift, or Colby Calais, or. Lots, lots. So yeah. if you're watching, I love call the fray. this girl. The fray is awesome. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling one of these duets is probably going to happen. You actually did an awesome collaboration with someone we love, Josh Golden. Josh, how, does, how yeah. did that come about? How do you guys know each other and decide to do the team up and everything? Uh, we met each other at uh, an event, and ever since then we've just been keeping in touch. And uh, his family's awesome, and his, you know, siblings are friends of mine too. So. 
we actually saw each other in the airport one time and he called me up he was like uh, did I just see you? And I was like, maybe. And then we figured out that we were going to be in Nashville at the same time. Okay. So uh, he came over to my manager's house, and we just decided to do a cover of Love Story because that's one of my most uh, requested songs by uh -huh. the fans. Because I was Romeo out in the scarlet theater. And your daddy said, stay away from Juliet. And you were everything to me. I was begging you, please don't go. So it kind of just worked well, and out. It was awesome too because it's a little more fast paced. I loved it. Yeah, we kind of changed it up a little bit, changed the words. It's funny because the fans are like, he didn't sing the right words. You're like, listen, <laughs> okay, we're creative people. Yeah. Now you have, a lot, awesome. you have a lot going on right now too. You just did a great music video with someone you guys will probably all recognize. Tell me about it. Oh, right. <laughs> Yes. I was like, what? Really? Yeah, <laughs> Tony Aller. So yes. cute. What was it like doing that video? So much fun. It, it was awesome. Um, it was a more upbeat song than Goodbyes, so that was that was cool. And then um, just the whole like scenery for right. the music video, it was so colorful. And my bedroom was actually made up from scratch. It was, it was so, so insane. Cute. Like. It was just this little blank room, and then when I walk in there, like the next day, I'm like, "Whoa, this is like here. it looks like a <laughs> real room." It was so cool. Oh. Um, but shooting with Tony was awesome, and he's so funny and very, very crazy. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet all the fun behind the scenes stuff. Oh yeah. And also, we have to tell the people watching at home the Tinkerbell soundtrack. The Tinkerbell soundtrack's coming out. Uh, I recorded a song for it called "A Greater Treasure Than a Friend." So. Very Everyone, sweet. make sure to go grab that. It's, I'm sure they will. It's a very cool song, and it's. Um, I think you know a lot of the fans will like it. I hope. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Savannah, for coming. Thank you in. for I having me. You are a busy lady. I have to say, she gave me goosebumps when I listened to all of her music online Aww. all the way. And we are super impressed here at Clever with Savannah. Everyone, please make sure to check her out on YouTube, MySpace, even on Twitter. Twitter. And I have a feeling that she is headed straight to the top. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching Clever TV's new music scoop. I'm Jocelyn Davis. See you guys later. If you